Hi. Uh, and whoever wrote the feedback that I'm a quack, thank you very much for that. Uh, it gave me chance to pause. It gave me chance to stop and look at my life and and look at how, if we are creators of our own lives, which I really find that New Age idiom's a little bit quirky, okay? I don't think I created this life. I live a magnificent life, and I don't think my imagination is big enough for it. But the fact that I am a quack and have been a quack for quite a few years, I'm fairly clear about. If meaning a quack means uh, getting people, most of the people you see better, and some of the people not, uh, like I said, I was a chiropractor, then I went into kinesiology, which was developed by a chiropractor, then I came into the self-actualization learning technologies, which, boy, that stuff doesn't make any sense to me. I sit in my classes and I watch people get younger, brighter, healthier, and happier. I watch people come up and they make all these claims. Well, I had a tumor disappear, I had this happen, I had that happen. I said, well, that's cool. I'm happy for you. No, but I've had this for years and it's gone. When I was in practice, I had a lady come in and she had eight years of intractable headaches. Right? We did kinesiology, oogie boogie, oogie boogie. And she came up to a flower remedy. Think about it. I gave her the flower remedy. She was convinced she would bought a bottle of magic water from a weirdo, which I am. I'm okay with that too. Right? But her eight years of intractable headaches disappeared in an afternoon. Do I know how I did that? No. Could I recreate it? I have no idea. Was she different from anybody else I've ever met? Have I ever given that combination of flower remedies to anybody? No, I haven't. Because I don't know what I'm doing. In the human potential field, I don't know what I'm doing. In the healthcare field, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I do with people, and I know most times it's effective. But as far as knowing the trails and how to get there, all I do is follow the curiosity, I follow the signs, I follow what the body tells me, and it seems to work. The past few years, three of my chiropractic friends have died. Well, more than that now that I think of it. One from a stroke, two from three from cancer. What caused it? I don't know. Did they do preventative stuff? I think so. You'll never know if your preventative stuff works. You will absolutely never know if that's what's keeping you alive or happy or healthy. You can presume it if you want to, but you'll never know. This world is wide open. There are too many variables. Uh, like I said, I don't get it. When I do my classes, I tell people the truth. I don't know how life works. I don't know how to make your life better. I know that if you follow some guidelines where you look at the possibility of two operating systems and you look at a system that can only answer yes or no kinesiology from the body and you find an honest practitioner, there's a good chance you'll be healthier and happier. And that's what I'm curious about. When I did kinesiology, I was worried about sick people. I don't anymore. I've said this before. If you know people with problems, send them to people who are problem solvers. If you want to people you want if you know people that want to live in higher states of awareness and live uncommonly good lives, come and check it out. It's worth the money you spend and the time you spend. Unless you decide it's not. Thank you. www.micpeakperformance.com